Hi guys, it's Ben here with a preview of Liverpool's final pre-season game against Athletic Bilbao tonight, but this one has been overshadowed by news in recent days. So this is the last non-competitive Liverpool game that we'll see in August, but of course, the most important thing at the moment is the future of Philippe Coutinho. Neymar has completed his move to PSG, which means they need to sign someone else. No secret that they're looking for Coutinho. And whispers over the past sort of 24 hours have suggested that he does want to move. I don't think this has been confirmed by anyone concrete yet, but this is obviously what the rumours are. This is going to be a horrible, horrible month. Van Dijk's situation hasn't improved. Looks like Chelsea are just as likely as we are to sign him, if you'd believe the bookies and the reports. Cater's still off the table. Adam Milana is out for three months. It's been a dreadful, dreadful week as far as news is concerned. We had the great win over Bayern Munich. We played okay against Atletico Madrid, but off the pitch stuff has really sort of taken over. There's a, there's a bad mood around at the moment. I'm a lot more pessimistic than I was in regards to the Coutinho situation, in regards to our squad, but Milana getting injured, that's such a huge blow for him to be out for the first few months of the season. We're gonna need to sign at least one or two midfielders now. I mean, if Coutinho leaves, I don't know I don't know what we're gonna do. Um, who, do who do we even target that's anywhere near as good as him? Let's have a look at the Bilbao game. So Coutinho apparently has a sore back, so he's not gonna feature in Dublin, neither will Lallana, of course. Jordan Henderson hasn't traveled, and Daniel Sturridge is still missing after his injury the other night. Everyone else that you'd expect to travel has done so, though, so it's still gonna be a strong lineup for Liverpool. It is gonna be a weak inside for Bilbao. I think Laporte's gonna miss out. Quite a few other absentees too, so Liverpool will be the favourites going into this one. We have played each other a few times in the past, in the 60s and in the 80s. The most recent meeting was in 1983. We beat them 1-0 away from home in the European Cup. They finished 7th in La Liga last season, so this will be a decent test for the Reds. Interesting to see how we fare against them. We really battered her to Berlin. We did well against Bayern Munich. How are we going to fare against very solid La Liga opposition? Hopefully we can win the game. Hopefully we can take some momentum going into Watford next week. So let's have a look at a predicted 11. I think this is going to be very, very strong. This is going to be as close to our starting 11 as we'll ever see in pre-season. The first game before the start of the campaign normally is very much the 11 that you're going to be playing. So, Mignolet in goal. With the injuries at right back, Trent Alexander-Arnold is going to slot straight in there. I think Matip and Lovren will play at centre-back. And I'm going to pick James Milner to start at left back. I don't think we've seen much of Robertson so far, which kind of indicates to me that Milner will be the first choice, at least by the start of the season. Henderson's out with illness, no Lallana, no Coutinho, so the midfield will probably look like Chan, Vinaldum, and Grujic or Woodburn. Who? I'll pick Woodburn. Wouldn't be the worst idea to put Milner in midfield with these injuries and put Robertson at left back, but I don't think we'll see that just yet. And then up front, it's going to be Mane, Salah, and Firmino, I think. As I said, we are the favourites for this one. Skybet have got us at four to nine to win. Bill Bauer eleven to two. The draw is sixteen to five. My score prediction: I'm going to. Th Go for a 3-0 Liverpool win. I think we're going to brush these aside with aplomb. Looking forward to seeing Mane and Salah in action again, hopefully. I'm going to pick both of them two to score and Firmino. So the front three all to score. Liverpool's win 3-0 and me to be cheered up after 24 hours of horrible, horrible news with Lallana. Coutinho situation not looking very good. Let's hope we can get a win today. Leave a comment with your score prediction and your thoughts on the Lallana situation, the Coutinho situation, and our Champions League draw against Hoffenheim in the qualifiers. Is that a comfortable win for the Reds? Will we qualify for Europe's League competition? Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Please do subscribe to my channel for more of this sort of stuff. Drop a like, share the video for me, and follow my other socials, and it's important that you do this. It's Ben might say on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. We've got a lot going on this weekend. We've got the sevenfold, which was my last video. A lot of accumulators going on, some big money to be won, and I'm gonna be following all that progress on my socials and we've got a day trip and it's a special one it's a Gillette Soccer Saturday special the video will be up on my YouTube but if you want to follow it live whoever scores the first goal in the Saturday 3 p.m. we're gonna be going on a night out to that town it's something that's been done before by loads of groups of lads we're gonna do it and I'm gonna record it Make sure you're following me on all the socials to keep up to date with that. It's going to be very exciting. There's going to be a lot of booze, uh, a lot of excitement and a lot of football. I'll see you next time.